Hi guys and welcome back to Pete's Cookhouse. First episode, first season. And today we have a treat for you guys. We're gonna make my style of barbecue ribs. Why I say my style? It's because we're gonna do it in an Instapot. So if you don't have the time to wait for eight hours to smoke some ribs on a barbecue, this is the best way to get good old fall off the bone barbecue ribs in an Instapot. 32 minutes. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're back. So what you're going to be needing for this, naturally, ribs. I have here uh, the side cut. You can get the baby back. Uh, you can get whichever type of ribs you want. This one is the side cut. It's a little cheaper than the baby back and could be a little bit tougher too, but we can, we're can we going to fix that with the Instapot. You're going to need butter knife, aluminum foil, mustard as a binder, and whatever dry rub you require, whichever one you like, you prefer. Uh, so we're going to get started. First, got to prep the ribs. Now, prepping the ribs is nothing really complicated. Is This is how you do it. You're going to trim some of the fat out. You're going to trim it so that it's nice and um, presentable. You want something nice to show, right? So first off, we trim off the excess fat that we don't need. A little fat is good. But uh, we also want to get rid of this membrane here. Now, how to get rid of this membrane? This is where the butter knife comes in. So you slide this underneath. You lift it up. As you see, it, like that. Now, this thing is really slimy and slippery, so we need paper towel. So you grab the corner, like this. Hang on. And, hang on. It's being stubborn. Okay. And you just lift it up. The reason why you want to take this membrane off is because it makes um, a little bit tougher for the seasoning to go get through. And also, it makes that little chewiness when you're uh, when you're you leave it on so some people like it some people don't um, I prefer to take it off because I like the flavor to go completely through and I will keep on doing that until we're done so So yes, you can notice that it's a different color. Reason why is because I ran out of the other seasoning rub. So I'm going to use something else. So once the rub is on, we will tap it in, and then we're going to foil it, put it in the fridge for you know, half an hour, an hour. Uh, once we throw it in the Instapot uh, for 36 minutes, uh, they're going to be fall off the bone and we're gonna finish them off on the barbecue, the charcoal. If you don't have a barbecue or you don't wanna barbecue it, um, you can put them in the oven on broil, put the barbecue sauce on and everything's gonna be great. So, um, we're gonna foil this up, put it in the fridge, and we'll be back once they're ready. All right, so now we're gonna foil it. We're gonna grab each slab of rib and we're gonna foil them individually. And the reason we're doing that is to, to seal in this flavor so that they marinate and uh, there's no air that goes in to contaminate it or anything like that uh, while they're marinating in the fridge. So seal it up nice and tight. That's one. And we do the second one like this. Boil it up nice and tight. Now, take the tray, take this, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours or for the whole day or overnight, whatever you prefer. Uh, and uh, once we're ready, we're going to cook them up and serve them. So I will see you in a couple of hours. And welcome back, guys. So our ribs have been sitting for about six, seven hours. Uh, we're going to put them in a crock pot. 
Now, a little bit about the crockpot itself. Um, if you take a look at it, we have different functions. The functions we're going to be using today is pressure cook, and we're going to set the time for 36 minutes, and I will show you once we're all set up. So we open the lid like this. We will take the rack out, and uh, so as you can see, there's the pot. It's a very simple machine, and there's nothing really to be afraid of. Um, in this particular case, when we're doing the ribs, we need a liquid uh, to steam the ribs. So the liquids that we're going to be doing, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using about half a cup of our homemade barbecue bourbon sauce, right? So we're going to put some of this in here. So we'll go half a cup like this. All right. Always test it. Very good. Now, um, we're going to add a little bit something special some liquid smoke. Even though we're going on the barbecue with this, uh, some people that don't have a barbecue or it's in the middle of winter and you don't want to go outside, you can use this uh, to give that little barbecue flavor. I'm going to use that to enhance the barbecue flavor, but you can always finish it off in the oven. You put it on boil and just leave it in there for 10 minutes until the barbecue sauce is um, basically dried out. So I'll put a couple of drops of liquid smoke in there and then we fill the rest up to a maximum of a cup like this now we will whisk it up whisk it up in the cup get it all nice and mixed up together now this is all done. We just put this, all of this, in the Instant Pot. Put this aside. We take our rack, put this in the bottom. You want to come closer and take a look at this? This is how it looks like. Now, we will take our first rack of ribs that has been marinated. And we have some extra meat, too, that we're going to put in there. So grab your rack and just twist it like so, so it fits, standing up like that. Okay? You can put this on the side here somewhere. We'll take the second one, and we'll do the same thing. Twist it and put it inside like this. And that is all that you need to do. So we're just going to clean ourselves up a little bit here. Take this towel. All right. Now we're going to put the lid on here. And we're going to start the cooking process. The whole process will take 36 minutes. So. Come over to this side. I'll turn this and I'll show it to you. Now, pressure cook. That's turned on. We don't need the uh, standby heat, so we're going to turn that off. Right now it's flashing 36 minutes. That's all we need. Press on start. Before you do that, make sure that you are on seal. If you take a look here, you have seal and you have vent. Seal and vent. This is your vent. And this will pop out when the pressure is up to uh, par inside the uh, pressure cooker. So we start this. Where's the start? Here? No, here. I can't see. So that will heat up. It will start the process of cooking. And in 36 minutes, we will take it outside and we will vent it. We'll take the ribs out very carefully because it will be fa fall off the bone. And we're going to put them on the barbecue. And then we eat. That's it. So until this is done, um, have a coffee and wait. All right. So the ribs are finished. As you can see, the cooking is ended. Um, 
all we need to do now is to release the pressure. But because we're in a confined area here, uh, I'm going to go and release it outside. Once that's all released, I'll bring it back inside and we'll continue from there. I'll show you the ribs and then we put them on the barbecue and we eat afterwards. So let's go do that. And uh, how about we take a look at these guys, see what they're doing right now, right? Yeah, that's looking mighty good. So another 10 minutes, we're going to add more barbecue sauce to them. Uh, we're going to flip them over and get a nice little char or two on there. And then uh, we eat. All right, I'll see you back inside. All right, guys, so this is the end result. After taking them off the barbecue, we have these beautiful ribs. Now, you can't get any more fall off the bone than this. The bones come sliding right out. All that's left to do now is to cut it up and enjoy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification button, Hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next show.